Let's do. Let's do. I'm Get scared. In there. I'm getting a toe two. Toe two. Toe two with no ink. Yep. An inkless that. toe two that I fully consent to. <laughs> fully consent to that 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's not too bad. <laughs> Hurts a little more as you go along. Is that it? Welcome back for the third time, Knox. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, that looks good. Come on, Ian. Can I get one? He died and then he went to the cat. Was like, don't you wear a great leg. They should this. Yeah, play ball. It could be yours. Just that would I'd like to take a moment to uh, take note of these tats. We'll try to get a good picture. Thanks. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a wild popping cherry or pop my cherry. Yeah, these are pretty funny. I got a tramp. Yeah, you're a tramp, dude. Yeah. Like total tramp. Yeah, so you got a scorp at the, at the porn star. Yeah. Gang. Oh, what is the most expensive tattoo and the longest that you guys have done? Done? Like, most expensive I've paid for or most expensive that I've charged? Let's do both. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I guess I'll go. You're first. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, the most I've charged for a tattoo was I think four fifty. Um, so I'm still pretty new. I've only been doing it for about a year and a half. You know, steadily, um, kind of learning and practicing on and off for the past three or four years. Um, but yeah, my because my scope is a little more limited and I don't have my name out there quite as much. You know, I tend to do smaller pieces. Mm. Uh, but 450 is a pretty decent sized tattoo. You know, you're looking at a section of body. How long did it take? A section uh, of body. <laughs> a section of body, yeah. I don't know. About five hours. Can I get this section of body done yes. for 450? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like a, a, a good segment of, body. of the body. <laughs> Like, you know, you've got your your shoulder and then your forearm and then your inner forearm and head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah. $100 a pop to tattoo a toe. <laughs> That's true. What nah, about you? Oh. Nah, for me, um, well, I've been working on a lot of bigger pieces lately, so I haven't, like, really been getting paid all in, like, one go. So I've been working on a lot of sleeves, and those are, like, aiming more towards, like, 2500 to 3000 um, but the most I've received in one sitting for doing a tattoo was like nine hundred. Shit. Yeah. How long was most, it? Uh, how long was it? Uh, I think it took me like seven and a half hours. It's yeah. a good day's work. Yeah, definitely. Wild. But yeah, that like I was only doing it like a hundred an hour then, so like <clears throat> I think the rest of that just came from a tip. Like you, yeah, you must be getting like a hundred dollar tip after an eight hundred dollar tattoo shit. Right. Yeah, that's something that makes sense to tip it. Oh yeah. Your back's gonna be hurting after that. <laughs> take that hundred dollars straight to my masseuse. <laughs> chiropractor <laughs> it's, uh, <yeah>. or something. <laughs> It'll catch up to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to also take note of the dilly hell that Mike is rocking. The necklace. Oh yeah. You got a dilly hell. And, yeah. Oh, you got one too? Yeah, I got a little one. Oh, shit. Yeah. A couple of days ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, you had to keep my girl strapped. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been working on your own, right? That's yeah, trying. I, mean. I don't know. The, the, the little intricate ones, those things are hard, man. Like, I've been, I'd, like, I've actually had to catch myself taking a lot of breaks from doing it, too, because, man, that shit's hard on the fingers. Yeah. Oh, I bet, dude. Uh, I don't know how I don't like, I, like, I don't know. Like, I, I hit him up. I'm probably going to, like, uh, what was he say his name was again? Dylan? Yeah. Yeah. Dilly I'm, I'm probably going to hit him up again and see what types of different tools he uses to see if I can, like, you know, get something smaller so I'm not doing so much with my fingers. You know, you know how I can just talk to him about it? 
Nah. With uh, like the rebuildable coils, how people were doing like Clapton's and shit like that. Yeah, you can do that with a drill. This maniac does yeah. it all by hand still. Seriously, yeah, like I, I've already like abused the shit out of the drill, like with my last three necklaces that I made. Like I, fuck that whole Clapton, like yeah, <laughs> dude, fuck yeah, I would. I think for him, it's like he wants it maybe more of quality assurance, but I feel like he can get I don't some. Know, nice I feel clean. like I get a way yeah. clean, but at the same yeah. time, like uh, with with the style that he does, there is like. You know, like, I think there's, like, so many different breaks in between the actual Clapton wrap mm. itself to where he he has to break it and wrap another wire to connect it to a whole other piece yeah, in there. Yeah, that kind of makes more sense. So, yeah, to do it by hand, I could see that. Because I've run into a few of those issues where I fucking used the drill and just went way too far. And I was like, all right, now yeah, I have to undo trick. this yeah. so, and then wrap that part. The man's a maniac. Yeah, like, that That thing is, like, literally, like, doing these is kind of, like, playing chess, like, almost. Like, you literally have to just kind of, like, think way ahead in order to make it happen. Right. Can't really just wing it. Like, you you have to, like, know it's, like, possible. Otherwise, you're just going to be, like, connecting a bunch of different fucking pieces. Yeah. Which, uh, like, the people have, like, I've seen that a lot of people do that style anyways, where they make these, and they're, like, actually, like, 20 different pieces in just this little thing. And I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot of pieces in that little guy. Yeah, a yeah. lot of thought. <laughs> you guys have any fun tattoo stories? Fun tattoo stories. You ever tattooed a butthole? No. Tattooed a butt cheek. Butt cheek. I've tattooed a butt cheek. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, a few butt cheeks. <laughs> a, lot, a while ago, I tattooed a, the Russian flag on someone's ass cheek. Oh, I know who that is, I think. Yeah. Is that uh, Ryan's friend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Lost yeah, a he bet. lost a vet. <laughs> and then Brian got a SpongeBob, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh. Brian. Oh, her? No. Oh, no. I was friends I was just talking about the other day. Andrew? No. no I think it's... it was his brother that got the... Like, Brett, or... Oh, Brett got the tattoo? Or no, Brian got the tattoo. The flag. He has a brother, Brett. I don't know. Yeah, I thought he had a SpongeBob on his ass, maybe, though. Yeah, he does have a Russian flag, I think. Yeah, let's get, Bri- let's get Brian's ass in here. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Oh, that's hilarious. Losing a bet and getting a tattoo. Yeah. That's, yeah. like, classic funny. That's how I ended up shaving my face the last two times. But didn't we do the bet thing, and then we shaved? Yeah. Yeah. Same with same one I did with Skylar, too. Just dumb bets. I'm done betting about shaving my face. <laughs> like, even when, no matter how many face tattoos I get, it doesn't help my baby face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T- beard tattooed on you i did just see someone get their uh hairline done in a tattoo mm. which came mm-hmm. out kind of cool yeah actually i'm gonna have to do it fade. A that's kind of a tattoo. like it just replaces yeah. your hair or so like there's, there's tattoo artists now that are doing like permanent makeup and they'll like tattoo in people's eyebrows yeah uh i was just up up at this expo in northern wisconsin the rosemont one yeah see and uh there was this lady there doing like eyebrow tattoos and she was charging 450 for a set Oh, it's crazy. Worth it. I mean, yeah, if considering like how much people spend on getting their eyebrows maintained. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be like pay for itself in a year. Yeah, definitely. That's I have a I have, I have a pee. lady friend what's up? I had a pee. Oh, go for it. Oh, where's your bathroom? bathroom? Yeah, just dude, Um just upstairs in the hallway. <laughs> just whip it out. Right. <laughs> Down the hallway to the right. <clears throat> I have a lady friend who does like the wings a lot, you know, mm. like the make and I'm like, why don't you just get that tatted? You know, she doesn't well, do it like you know. I, I actually asked somebody the same question, and uh, they they just replied with like, "I like different angles." That's what she said. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> like, agree with that, but <laughs> like sometimes they have it flare a certain way. Yeah, yeah. basically, that makes yeah, sense. Like you know, I, now that since you were talking about the funny tattoo story, so since we were talking about the like eye area, it just brought me back. So. Um, well, one of the times I was like locked up, I actually did uh, make a friend that I became friends with on the outside too. And uh, the first time we hung out, he brought uh, himself and his girlfriend to come get tattooed by me. And like his girlfriend had like drawn on eyebrows and stuff like that. And she had already had this date in Roman numerals above her eyebrow, but it was done in like white ink. And she was like, well, can you black over this? And I'm like, all right, yeah, that's no problem. So like, 
she charged her like the minimum hundred bucks because that's the minimum for a face damn it you want your face done hundred bucks i don't care what it is yeah, yeah for sure dude. <laughs> it's your damn face yeah. you just pay for it <laughs> seriously man <laughs> um but yeah so like you know i did it and it was it was like right on cue like i just blacked over the white and it didn't match her eyebrow and i you know i was letting her know I was like, you know this doesn't match your eyebrow you know this and that and she and then uh, her boyfriend turns to me and he was like well to be fair her eyebrows are never the same shape every day anyway oh. <laughs> <laughs> roasted <laughs> damn that's savage <laughs> yeah. i'm surprised i haven't seen uh because you can like the white pops right I mean, yeah, like, it kind of, like, does, like, a yellowing thing after a while, though, and then eventually just fades into the, like, the more natural color of your skin, I'm sure. I'm thinking of, like, people with darker skin or black people, like, usually you can't really see tattoos on them too much. Yeah, I haven't really seen anything healed up. Like, I know, like, freshly applied, yeah, white shows up pretty well. Like, I've put color into, like, black folk, you know, plenty of times and done pretty well, but... I don't really actually see many of them healed up and not a lot of black folk come for color because they just know themselves like color in our skin doesn't work that well. Mm. The selective colors do. Do you think white would show up like white? You know, I put white in and it it popped, you know, immediately, but I don't know how it looks, you know, now, three years down the road. Interesting. I'm surprised I haven't really seen that that I can remember. Mm. What is seen like a little white. But it's like you said, it just blends in. Mm. And I've never really noticed. I like taking special note. What's they're pretty, they're pretty subdued. I feel like. What's the funniest tattoo you ever did? The funniest. I don't know. I, don't really, I mean, to me, it was funny. Like, I mean, it was a tattoo on me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It was my first face tattoo. Like, I don't know. The the con like the tattoo itself's not funny, except for the jokes made afterwards. I guess what's that uh, my first face tattoo was like three dots and uh, i was dating this girl for a while like maybe like a month if that and she was talking about like how she wanted to get like breast implants and i'm like yo come on don't do that fake's not cool like come on you know, <laughs> you, you, you're you're all right you know your titties are fine leave them alone they're they're just they're great yeah stop it and she was like all right well if i'm not gonna get those you can't get your face tattooed and i'm like right <laughs> five minutes later i i'm standing in the mirror dotting my face with a sharpie and then got a tattoo like right in front of her like <laughs> a minute after that and then i got called ice cube for about a year yeah <laughs> is that a tattoo no, it's no he, he's got like, like three little like freckles or moles there or something yeah. but just because just it was there they're like oh what's up ice cube I'm like, great <laughs> sick so eventually i got it covered up with the Deathly Hollows, because fuck yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> next to the Korean. Yeah, next to everything. What's the All Korean mean? Uh, it says alone. <laughs> yeah, it. depression hits like a bitch when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay for people to show up just like obliterated, intoxicated? No. No, not Absolutely at all. not. What about like buzzing? Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to get lippy and you're not being, like, rambunctious, sure. Yeah, and you might bleed a little more, you know, uh, alcohol thins the blood, mm. but... Do people show up drunk off? I wonder if the mic can hear that. I, I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Playback. Okay, meds got me screwed. Um, I don't think super often. Um, I think sometimes people, like, bring drunk people with them. Oh god! Him. Don't ever bring a drunk guest. That's worse than getting a drunk yeah. tattoo. Mm, that's true. just an annoying I drunk agree. person. Yeah, like that doesn't work, man. Stunts is off, bro. <laughs> Can <laughs> you even <laughs> see straight, bro? Are you sure your your head's just now tilted to the side a bit? <laughs> yeah. Funny ones always when you put the stencil on and they look in the mirror and they go, "It's backwards." <laughs> oh man i had a Stupid. i had a dude like really high on like some xanax come in and do that and he, he just kept going at it i'm like dude it's backwards because you're looking in the mirror <laughs> you just couldn't comprehend that yeah what, dude? <laughs> you have a backwards mirror? Wait. <sighs> that's hilarious yeah have you ever gotten halfway done with a tattoo and then the person pussied out and was like just hurt too much or 
I mean, their card doc got declined or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. The <laughs> card gets declined. Take the ink back out real quick. Yeah, I, I had one guy tap out on me. I mean, I got the outline of it done, but you know, it was just it, too painful. I guess I don't know. He's like the only person I've ever had tap out. It was, Pussy, just, dude. it was like that big. It was a little scorpion on his hip. Dude, it's like totally. That's that. totally. <laughs> he was trying to be a beach god. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anyone tap out, but again, I I haven't done a lot of big tattoos. Mm. Um, I have done a couple in multiple sessions, just because for whatever reason the skin kind of stopped accepting ink. I don't believe you guys. That's just a newbie thing. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. It's it's yeah. not real. But I mean, <laughs> here's the thing: as as a newbie. <laughs> If I'm having trouble getting the ink in the skin, I would much rather... Grind harder. Harder. <laughs> harder, <laughs> Yeah, <daddy>. grind harder. <laughs> yes. That's, okay. that's the philosophy. You don't know how you make on. that paper? Grind harder. <laughs> so don't... So, don't. so you're saying that the skin sometimes stops, like, taking ink. Oh, yeah. And eventually Mike's the like, skin will get beat up enough, and it's just like, I've had enough. Yeah. If you're going over the same spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or even just, like, a general area. So, like, say you've got, you know, a, a tattoo that's, you know, covering your whole thigh. But generally, it shouldn't get that bad. Right. Mm-hmm. And, I, I, you know, back on the point of, like, me being newer, you know, as a newer artist, you are still kind of learning how to treat the skin. Um, I've gotten a lot better about it now, but kind of when you're starting off, you, you tend to overwork a little bit. And my philosophy was rather than continuing to overwork i'd give them a break and you know practice a little more and have them come back another day and finish it up right you can always come back to it what's up with like someone goes in to rob like a bank or whatever and they see a tattoo and then like that's how they catch people sometimes yeah is that a thing like you guys don't keep records of the shit right no well, but uh I mean, when you know, it's easy jail, to match a picture to uh yeah definitely easy to match picture for one and then like every time you go to jail i mean obviously if you're gonna commit a thing like that you've probably been to jail once yeah so every time you go to jail they do record like most of your tattoos if they do your job right they like actually lay out the map of your body and shit and mark like <laughs> like little circles and say like a little description of what it is you think that's just up to you guys to comply to it or not like you can just say no fuck off I'm not helping with the investigation right you don't have to i mean you, you would think so but I, I mean i guess that would be like withholding evidence maybe yeah i don't know never happened wait no i like, mean as long like as if somebody aware. committed a crime and 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 like they seen a tattoo that we might have done on somebody right then, like, oh yeah no i don't think they could fuck with us for that yeah, especially if you don't have like official records of it. Yeah, I mean we have record of the person getting tattooed, but not. I mean, depends on where you work. Some shops will actually like make you put a, like a light description of what it was that you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think that's just more paranoid owners that yeah. are like, I want to know what you did so I can determine if that was pr- like priced appropriately. Right, and make sure right. You're not ripping me off, keeping <laughs> a reputation and stuff. It's like, quit worrying about my money back. <laughs> So, hey, so money yeah. is their money. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, so is it normally like you pay like for just having a spot for each month, kind of like cosmetology? Kind of depends. Kind of um, depends. So, both of our shops do percentage per tattoo. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, say I make so much on a tattoo, I have to give thirty percent of that to the shop at the end of the day. Gotcha. Seems like a good way to do it. Yeah. 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 Then, like, make other, off pretty good. then other shops like i don't know of any locally that do it but then like there are shops that do like hairstylist way where it's like booth rent like give me 600 bucks a month pocket the rest <sighs> Ooh, i got a good question when do most people get tattoos or like when's the most common time or like catalyst Man. tax season middle of summer are we, are we talking about life decisions or just on a yearly um both all right life decision i would say uh 18 is definitely a go and then midlife crisis yeah interesting yeah Yeah, it does seem to be kind of a thing yeah although we are seeing a lot more like heavily tattooed people by the age of like 22 23 yeah (laughs) which like it's kind of funny to think about because they're either getting really cheap tattoos or 
or they're really very getting, successful or someone else is paying for their tattoos. Dude, mm. they're getting really paid because they really hack the system like the island boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a good reference to slip in. <laughs> you, you, you guys should be the Midwest boys or something. The Midwest, the Midwest boys. boys. <laughs> and corn fed boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm too skinny to be corn fit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more like corn stock fit. <laughs> he was just the water that watered the corn. <laughs> the corn LaCroix. Corn LaCroix boy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Time of year. Yeah. There's uh, what Halloween's a really big one. And yeah. Then, like what's yeah. the other one? Friday the 13th, yeah. Halloween, yeah. Um, Valentine's Days, and tax season. Tax season. And then, you know, generally most of spring, but like spring and summer, like it's, yeah. it's pretty steady throughout all that. Mm. Just funny because I think summer is probably the worst time to get a tattoo. I, you know, like I. You know, it's hot. You're going to be sweating anyways. You're probably going to have clothing off which you know direct sunlight on a fresh tattoo is not a good idea i don't know see i'm more of a clothing on type of guy <laughs> okay but how many how many <laughs> how many girls come in to get a tattoo like a really nice fucking floral piece thinking man i can't wait to wear a shirt over this at the beach <laughs> me what you mean <laughs> no i feel like good that answer, good answer. <laughs> that makes sense summertime you're like sweating it out yeah but it's it's Something also great. a busy time because people are more exposed and they want to show off their new ink but like realistically you know get the tattoo in the winter get it in the spring Unless you live in a colder climate in the summer, then cool. Yeah. At least, at least you know, cover it during the healing time. Yeah, you guys hear that? Come to him during the winter. Come to me all year. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. There's that tattoo artist beef. There it is. I know. Yeah. We're going to duke it out after this. Good. <laughs> okay, I've got a good one. <clears throat> Don't say the answer yet. We're going to guess. Most common tattoo. Phrase. We'll start with phrase. I already know your answer. The the most common phrase? What do you mean? Like just T- tattooed just, phrase? Oh, like words tattooed on a person? Yeah. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, it's probably like some like memento mori or something. That's. I thought your answer was gonna be the uh, Harry Potter. Um, oh, the mo- that that's the most common tattoo I think the um a Harry Potter themed tattoo. I'm up to no good. How, how's it go? Oh yeah, uh, no. I solemnly swear. I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, done one of those. The little footprints. I, yeah. I called chicks with Harry Potter tattoos, Harry Potter chicks, because it's like yeah, he's got a Harry Potter tattoo. What you saying? <laughs> hey, he's like, ain't hey, nothing wrong with it. Um, I'll I just go thought with, it was uh, like only God can judge me or some shit. Something oh, cool. That's very, that that's very nineties of you. Okay, <laughs> okay not modern. I don't, I don't know if there's really a... I think that one's still pretty common. I see those I, a lot on the I, internet. I literally have only done one of those my entire career. Have you ever and done and no it re- was it, all across this chest. Yeah, yeah. It had to be. Have you ever done a no regrets? No. No. no I wish. No regrets is just classic. No, okay. the most common one that I've done throughout my career is Until We Meet Again. But it's always the same reference photo that they bring in. So it's like getting old, trying to sprinkle new powder, some, you know, throw some sprinkles on top of the old turd. So that's like someone dies? and Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's like, you don't want to be rude about it because it's a memorial tattoo. It's like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, sorry to inform you, but you came in with a photo that like 800 other people already got this year. All right. I'm sure they probably know that, right? Like, you would think they would know that. I mean, I don't know. But a lot of people are convinced that their tattoo ideas are original. And yeah. part of my job is to let them believe that. Right. <laughs> but then that... Because I don't want to make them feel bad about the tattoo they're getting, you know? Like, yeah. I'm not there to, to bully them out of it or talk them out of it. You know, at the end of the day, if it means something to them, who cares if, mm. you know, 5,000 mm. other people have it? 
It's probably the last thing people want to hear is but that it's for, unoriginal. Yeah. Um, but for me, like, I don't know. like That would be terrible. Way, <laughs> like, oh, are you I've, sure, dude? I just had, like, three guys get that. You know, the way I've like... kind of been handling that lately, though, is, like, when people come in with a reference, because I get handed the same reference material so often. It's unreal. Really? Why do you think that is? It just, like... Comes up in Google. Google. The first yeah, thing to like, pop up. The first thing yeah. to pop up in Google Damn. or Pinterest or Instagram feeds or anything like that. Mr. Googs is probably like the tattoo mastermind. Yeah. Do you ever do it exactly like the reference? Or do you always change it up? You know, I used to do it exactly like the reference, but then, like, lately anymore, like, I just feel like, unless, the only thing I try to copy exactly like the reference, try to, mind you, because I don't, I'm not a realism artist, is, like, if somebody says, I want a rose tattoo... I'm not going to take the reference photo of the rose tattoo and trace it and put it on them. I'm just, if I can, you know, I'd rather go take a photo of it myself, but Google has tons of photos of just roses that are not tattoos. Mm-hmm. Just pick any one of them, mm-hmm. any one of them, and then use it. I was seeing a TikTok about someone who brought in a reference photo. It was like making fun of people who get tattoos. It was like, Mm, can you make it more like the reference or the yeah, reference photo? Mm-hmm. Like they kept going back and like, yeah, okay, just do the exact same thing as a reference photo. Mm. That's not like uh, typically. There's always a change up or like you know. See, like, we try to, but sometimes we do get people that are that, like, I'd rather you just do it exactly, exactly like this other person. That, that's why I try to scare my designs like so far away from the reference material. Like I'll use the the the, the idea of the material, but like I'll try to change it up towards like not even close, but mm. something that I think they'll believe is better. Mm. Cuz like I hate doing like tattoos that are already tattooed on people. Right. Like fuck that. Yeah. Like like why why would I do that exact pattern of rose dove pocket watch? You know, right. why did, would I do that one? Did you ever see the the tattoo where this guy took a reference photo, um, and like the photo had the other person's nipple on it, and he tattooed the nipple? Yeah, yes. that, that <laughs> killed me, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they did the same same thing with a uh, dude that the uh, Batman sleeve or like the the villains of Batman. Uh, and I'm gonna sound like a fucking retard. What's the dude's name with the question mark? The Riddler or Riddler. some shit. Riddler. Yeah. yeah, like it was like a like a tattoo of him next to the nipple, and like dude had it on his arm, and the nipple was like right over there. I was like, <laughs> he's just going so that exact. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like people, people would really get down like that and not care. And the thing about using reference material, like, like stealing somebody else's tattoo, is like you're taking a two-dimensional picture of a three-dimensional object so the tattoo is like wrapping mm-hmm. in an angle and distorting to where the picture cannot see it mm-hmm. and you're replicating that part that's all scrunched up and doesn't make sense right so, yeah it makes even less sense yeah like i've seen people do like roses that are squished like that thin mm-hmm. and like that wide and it's like when do you see a rose that looks like that mm yeah (laughs) (laughs) it wasn't (laughs) you were looking at a like a tattoo at an angle of like that yeah that's and trying to trace it like 90 percent of the time when you see tattoos that just look like you know the those pictures where they'll show like the original and the the messed up Mm. copy is because they literally just copy it off of the photo and then your proportions are all weird Mm. Yeah, like I was saying, like I like when it comes to people sending me references anymore, I just completely go with something like totally different. I'll use the same idea, but just go with like such a di- like a different design altogether that I feel that they'll like more. And I I don't even say like oh I'm gonna try to draw something like that. I'm just gonna be like all right, cool, if that's what you want. All right, and then I'll send them something totally different. They usually send it. Huh? They usually like it. Oh yeah. And it's like, you know, like, I've always heard stories like, uh, like, uh, people would come in like, I went to this artist for this long and blah, blah, blah. Then I came in one day and I wanted this, but he ended up giving me this instead. And it's just not what I wanted. Like so far, I haven't heard none of those stories about myself. Cause like I said, I still give them what they ask for just a different layout of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure like 
you'd redo it if they asked you, mm. right? It's not like, yeah, no, I tell everybody, like, you know, if you're going to put down a deposit, you know, give me like a week and I'll like come up with a design and then I'll message it to you. If you like what you see, then, you know, say less. Let's set that date and time. Yeah. If you like don't like the whole thing, say it. I'll redo, reconstruct another one. If you don't like just that part, cool. Screenshot it, circle that part. Say how you would like it fixed. Mm -hmm. you know? It's a discussion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What is the favorite tattoo you've ever done? Oh, man. Uh, kind of a toss up, I think. The either naked fairy or naked the naked. like demon witch girl thing which wasn't really my original design so i'm gonna go with naked fairy yeah they, they, they dug in your ass on that facebook yeah they did what um he replicated a piece and uh shared it on a tattoo page on facebook yeah i even an asshole. yeah I even posted on there, like, you know, not my design. And they're like, They just well, roasted you about it? Yeah, they were like, well, why would you post a design that's not yours? Because it was a dope cool. tattoo. It turned out cool. Yeah. It's cool art. Fucking goobs. What yeah. about you? Favorite um, tattoo? Favorite tattoo. Hmm. I don't know. Um, dude, I'm working on this, like, cool-ass Jason sleeve. Like, I don't know if he's going to add any more Jason to it or not. There's a lot of Jasons. It's a lot of Jason, dude. It's a mm. lot of Jason. I, I managed to throw in a touch of Freddy in the last one that we added to it. So I'm going to try to get him to, like, start throwing some other ideas around. But it's, like, kind of, like, not super realism because, like I said, I'm not a realism artist. But, like, you know, about as real as I get. <laughs> mixed with uh like some like red smacks of just color like smacked around just like scratched through in the background it's all right um i really like that bass fish i did a few years ago yeah and that fish was like ahead of its time for me like when i first did that i was like i did that <laughs> i think i saw that I yeah like I that that's man nice that that one set me on right there that that was the one right there that said all right now you can now you make enough to live on your own yeah <laughs> you inspired yourself yeah uh what i thought was really cool is those ones that are like sound waves and you scan them and they mm -hmm. make a noise but have you seen yeah. one that actually worked no. or have you just seen the video just the video like, i don't even know if that's like real i, I want to see it yeah I'd be willing to try it. That makes me feel like I'm a barcode, though. Like, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I don't know. I'd get, like <laughs> if somebody could do it perfectly, I'd get the barcode for a can of raviolis. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. <-y. laughs> Go to self checkout and it scans you. Like no. Or or at this point, like how many tech decks I already have on my wall now? Like I think uh, my girlfriend counted them. I think she said I had like seventy something tech decks. Cause like I've been posting about like clients just tipping me, like you know, instead of giving me cash, just bring me tech decks. <laughs> you know, like whatever. <laughs> and fucking so yeah, now I got like a, a little over three hundred dollars of tech decks just covering my walls. Damn, that's pretty dope. Uh, I want to see an OnlyFans girl get her uh, like a QR code of her page. Why isn't that a thing? It could be that, a thing, you know. You know, if if you've got someone who's precise enough to those QR codes are touchy though. Like if you yeah. turn them in like different colors, they can be quite glitchy too. Yeah, I can imagine that'd be very hard to nail. Mm. Speaking of nailing stuff, you want to do the thing? Yeah, we can do the thing. Do the thing. We'll do the thing. Oh, I'm gonna get an in inkless bag. tattoo. There you go. Get little stabbed. Little smiley face, perhaps. Yeah. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. You want to get stabbed? Okay. I got. think we only have one needle, so. It's a Blood Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the only body fluid we swapped. Today. So you should do it on your foot, though. On my foot? Yeah, on your foot. Always strapped. Always strapped. Look, I even got the fingerboard handrail. <laughs> and, and the backup. I got wheels in there, trucks, extra deck. Shoot. I'll, I'll do whatever you uh, recommend. I'll do that on my foot. On the foot. I'll do the foot. Give me the full experience. It doesn't hurt anymore with ink, right? Like, it's the same nah, experience. No, it's going to be the same exact feeling. If anything, it like, the only way I'd see if it might hurt more than a regular tattoo is if it's going to be, like, a straight dry pull, like, no water, no alcohol, like, I don't know, no green soap. On the floor. 
Oh, oh yeah, man. I wish them a tattoo stool somewhere. Where's the tattoo stool? Let me find one. Where did that go, Curtis? Um, I think it's upstairs. I'll be right back. Yeah. Said so he had some gloves too. I know. I got them. Okay. Um. There's those big, thick ass books I couldn't find small The big, thick ones. Oh, no. The mopper boys. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, we got a box of nitro on it. Give me a second. Another man's table. Cleaning another man's table. Right. Cornelius? Hmm. Oh my god. Did you get rid of the uh the Cheyenne? Fuck yeah. yeah. Look what I did on Ben or Benny. Ben. Benny. Cool. Like, why did I let him talk me into doing circles and hexagons uh, at ten o'clock in the morning? Did you see the ornamental one that uh, Ian did on that girl's chest? Mm. That was tight. It was like these like little arches. Yeah, apparently, apparently, I, uh, I I forgot to uh, an extra circle on one side, so it's a little uneven. I put my foot up there, or uh, I yeah, just hit them. Probably be put your foot on Daddy's lap. We'll talk about the first thing that pops up. Yeah, <laughs> what goes it? What's his penis? I heard Laz has got a thing for feet. What's that? He's got a thing for feet. No, six six. <laughs> crying that turns you on secret kink i like Maybe. it ah uh, i'm scared you'll be fine it'll take two seconds uh-huh. should i do it on the big toe just right in the middle of the foot go for it wherever is going to be most painful Dude, I, I think you should just drag like maybe like a two inch line right across the top of the tendon on the big toe Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded cynical. <laughs> just like right across the... Can we get yes, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we reposition so we get it in the shot or yeah. move the camera perhaps? Uh, just tell me where you want me. Uh, I'm going to scoot this a little closer. Alright, I need a verbal agreement that if your foot gets infected you can't fucking see me. Yes, I consent. <laughs> I completely consent to this. I mean, it can't be any worse uh, than his other foot injury. On, I'm, I'm just gonna... Let's do. Let's do. I'm Get scared. In there. I'm getting a toe too. Toe too. A toe too with no ink. Yep, an that inkless bad. toe too that I fully consent to. <laughs> <laughs> fully consent to that 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright. Let's do this. I'll do a smiley face. It's not too bad. <laughs> Hurts a little more as you go along. 
Is that it? Yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, shit. That'd have been a smiley face. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Is it getting red yet? I could see, like, if you're sitting for see, hours, yeah. maybe, is it, like, numb after a while? Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's, like, it's, it's different uh, waves. I find it'll it, go numb, it'll get worse, it'll get hot. Yeah. You'll yeah. feel like you're going to pass out, but then you'll be okay. <laughs> is that um all, like, the same length? Like you said, two millimeters, is that what it's set to? Uh, um, hell no. There, there's no so, setting. So, it's all eyeballing. You can't be, like, perfectly oh, consistent about it. So, you got your collection needles at the end there. Oh, okay. So there's multiple needles soldered together. How many and, is there? And uh, this one is a seven, so there's seven needles. Okay. Um, and then generally you don't want it to go all the way out. Uh, but you do, like the way that I tattoo, I use a little bit of needle hang. That's kind of how he taught me. Um, and then there's another way where it's called riding the tube. And in that case, you would set it to about two millimeters out and then put the tube all the way to the skin. Uh, I don't like doing that. And like the way he kind of explained yeah, it, it is causes it more trauma. Yeah, it causes more trauma and you have less control over what the needle's doing. Trauma as in like trauma to the skin. Yeah, because like not only like do you have the needle penetrating your skin, but now you also have a piece of plastic dragging on top of that, you know, right mm -hmm. after, you know. Gotcha. So if you just hang the needle out further and actually look at the tip of the needle, put it in and get to going and watch that needle, it's just the needle touching the skin. That's it. Uh, it does take a little more skill to do that. A little more yeah. Advanced. Yeah, you know, it's definitely some muscle memory involved into yeah. that. And everybody has, like, their own method. Like, I've heard people talking about, like, I never move my fingers or my wrist. I use my whole arm to pull a line. Mm. I'm like, I don't know. Like, shit. I'm like, you know, oh, yeah. over okay. here, happy Madison and Alex. Like, oh, yeah. It's all oh, in the Look wrist. at her. That's adorable. Right. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Can you see that? Probably not really. Let's see. Yeah, that'll hold. Yeah, pretty good. Let's stick up a oh, screenshot or something. The longest smiley face. It looks like the. I'm thinking of something specific. Joker. It's like the, the there's like this it's like a Asian brand I think and it's like a weird sideways smiley face where like the mouth is off to the side a little bit. Yeah, I, th I think I do know what you're talking about. I feel like I've seen that too. I can't put my finger on it though. It's gonna bug me. Here, grab a mic. Grab a mic. Yeah. yeah. Grab a mic. Let's get your words. Like, let, let's hear chairs. what you're talking about. It'll hear pretty good. Uh. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just a really old smoker. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, How much do I owe you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be 80 bucks. I kind of like it. That's cool. Yeah, this is the, the Marco's house minimum. <laughs> 60 bucks, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Would you guys ever be open to doing like a tattoo thing at the shop? At, yeah. at Marco's? At Marco's? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Nah, I know Wolf Hollow does this. So I'm pretty sure there is like ways to go about it. Yeah, but... we'd have to look at like, I don't know if you need like one of those like temporary like sanitary permits or something like that yeah because like have you ever been inside wolf hollow like it's all carpet flooring there so it's like if they can get yeah. away with tattooing there i don't see why it would be an issue no it shouldn't be an issue um how would we like prep the area just give it a good general clean yeah general clean like probably just like store up on some like cavus cavicide wipes and shit like yeah. that maybe go to walmart get a little sharps container to yeah keep needles in gotcha then i've got yeah, a just probably like like tape off a little area or put like some velvet around us yeah keep the general public yeah. out of the space yeah. area, right? and just feel elite <laughs> like the, the red red fucking uh-huh the way too serious looking yeah. bouncer yeah yeah i got <laughs> just, just your brother yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a cool concept like a communal tattoo type of event is that a yeah thing well that's kind of what what the expo was it wasn't like uh, anything huge like the like the Chicago or like the Villain Arts conventions it wasn't anything like that you know we had uh, I think it was four shops there and then one barber shop so there was one person cutting hair in a corner and 
Uh, we were just at a the little event room in a hotel. It's a hotel slash casino. I heard about that from cool. a few people. It seemed like a good event. Yeah, it was nice. My friend so, got a big ass neck tattoo done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a lame. I didn't go to either one. My. I didn't go to Chicago or, <laughs> or what Madison. It was uh, no, it was north. way north. Way north. Uh, like in Redcliffe. Jesus Christ. Damn. Yeah, we were on Lake Superior. That's cool. Have you been? You've been at conventions, right? Uh, yeah, I went to one of them a few years ago with the House of Wax crew. I mean, took a big ass Ford limo there. That was tight. Then went to Dave and Buster's after. Sick. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're actually the shop's thinking about going down to uh, Dallas this year. Ooh. To the, the whole crew down there. Yeah, a good amount of us. You know, we've got twelve artists now and three piercers. That sounds fun. So, hmm. enough people to kind of keep the shop functioning. If you know six or seven people wanted to travel around a bit. Yeah, we were doing like the convention circuit with the vape shop for a while, and it was really cool. Mm-hmm. It's all like-minded people. Yeah, and, you know, get to see new places. When, Hang out with when the is guys. that? Yeah. When is that <laughs> this one in uh, Madison? What is uh, that? The villains are isn't that the one in Madison too? Yeah. Or when is Milwaukee? that Milwaukee? No, I one of the two. It's coming up. Yeah, because uh, yeah, Justin and Jess both said, like, you're going to this one. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I didn't go to the last one. I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to. It is a lot of stress. It's the, the environment you're tattooing in is a lot different. For sure. Kinda like, high, even, high even in the smaller setting, we had, uh, so it was two days, and we had maybe five or six hundred people total each day. Um... To the point where, like, we had to turn away a good amount of people because we just didn't have enough artists there. Uh, but everyone made out good. You know, everyone that worked both days... About three grand. Jeez. Yeah, and there's, like, the networking aspect of it. Oh, yeah, it. absolutely. It's probably yeah, now I have to reach all the way in northern Wisconsin. Yeah. If I ever want to go up there and... You know, they're telling me up there the only times to really tattoo are tax <laughs> season and then... Like right in the middle of summer, mm. uh, and then like nobody gets tattoos outside of that, which is kind of crazy to think about. That's pretty weird. Yeah. Why is it? Uh, what, what are they thinking? You know, there's a lot of shit talking going on, and I, I doubt it's really the case. But the the biggest thing they said was just people up there are broke, or they they're either broke or they spend all their money on their fishing boats. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> where was this Who, who's spending money on the fishing boats <laughs> people that live on the great lakes the fuck I mean, Why? It, they were it makes sense but it does you don't have a couple of like <laughs> uh, I mean you know every, everyone you know has you know say you have a spare six hundred dollars you either you know spend it on a tattoo or straighten to the boat or straighten to the boat yeah. or you know whatever else your hobbies are you know oh, it could yeah. be a, a new camera or uh, PS5, new gaming rig. Hmm. Yeah, anything. That's why uh, I'm personally super grateful when people come in and get tattoos because there are a million other things they could spend their money on. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like true lux- luxury, like unnecessary expenses. Fog. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just cherry on top. Yeah, it's, it's fun selling uh, unnecessary things. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah, Oh, absolutely. Yeah, when I was down in Arizona, that was my whole job. I sold high end. Uh, audio oh, so yeah. like big like twenty thousand dollar speaker systems dedicated just to listening to music super That's unnecessary dope. very unnecessary yeah sounds like a must have yeah <laughs> i was gonna say well <laughs> oh i mean to be fair once you listen to music on you know an eight thousand dollar set of speakers and then all the you know uh accompanying equipment it's kind of hard to go back yeah i believe it never listen to music the same no the replication of sound is unreal yeah oh yeah you can hear fucking billy eilish's little silent farts and everything <laughs> william eilish <laughs> <laughs> little <you> context what <laughs> no, i need one of those speakers. no no context <laughs> okay <laughs> none none <needed. laughs> none there just a little whisper <laughs> yeah no actually um 
It's we had it's actually a, the bass in all of her music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had this guy. Um, he was a lead engineer for this subwoofer company. Um, and he was talking to us about he used to work on sound stages um, in Hollywood. And they actually had to change the way they did sound stages because the the recording technology got so advanced um, that they could hear the people partying with all the like you know coke and Damn. strippers and stuff like in the next room over. Wow. <laughs> but there's a he was I forgot what movie it was. There's a specific movie where like they're uh, there's a desert scene and they're running through the desert and it's pretty muffled but if you listen close enough you can hear them chopping no the, shit yeah on the table that's probably like fear and loathing <laughs> no it wasn't even a movie about drugs it was like a what was it uh black hawk down wow yeah he was doing the sound stage for that that's hilarious i've never heard of such a thing wild that is kind of wild too because I, I was actually the sense you brought that up like I was like listening to uh, one of Shinigami's songs last night mm-hmm. and I swear to god like the just this one patch of the song like I think he might have forgot to clear out his own voice all the way from the auto tune because like just a like a good maybe like 30 seconds of the song i actually heard the guy's real voice like and i'm like whoa that dude does not sound what i like what i thought he sounded like interesting <laughs> keep that shit tuned but it was like and like i was just like so focused in on it i was like how have i never heard his voice until now like why am i hearing it now yeah does a good job covering it up yeah uh, yeah That's dude crazy. it's weird to hear sound in layers like that and then mm-hmm. just pay tune into one that you didn't hear at all right oh yeah Mm -hmm. and it's weird to think about how much different that would sound if you didn't have all those little ambient noises 100 it's like i know i'm just studying music for a little bit uh a big part of mastering is re-adding you know white noise little little sounds to make it feel more organic 100 percent. yeah man like is seriously i don't sing like shit you guys just aren't playing loud enough (laughs) (laughs) absolutely kurt's been quite the audio nerd lately yeah he's got a band thing going on oh yeah yeah been doing some production stuff and it's not quite (laughs) definitely a lot of working parts to consider and overlays it's cool shit you have any other questions or anything? Do you want to do a quick uh, tech deck flex? A tech deck flex? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I, got, I, you try, got I, try, on I keep that thing on me in the hat. I'm going to try to do a kickflip. Probably fuck it up, though. Yeah, do it, dude. Shit. Oh. Got to swing that away. It'll be all right. Ooh. Oh, cash money. Ooh. Ow, ow. Viral. Or do we got to do... Yeah, this is jazz in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a, that was a uh, good sesh. Did you guys have any yeah. closing thoughts or any any like? Well, I guess I, I'll 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 give you a, a question for for closing on. I guess what advice would you give to other people that are looking to get better at tattooing and just more involved in it in general? Um, it seems like there's I know a few people that yeah. are in that ballpark for sure. I'd say be patient um, and draw a lot. Uh, my biggest thing that I've, I've kind of learned and that he taught me is, you know, if you feel uncomfortable drawing something or not 100% confident with it, you're absolutely going to transfer that nervousness into a tattoo. Mm-hmm. So get confident in your drawing, practice on fake skin, practice on yourself. Yeah, you guys practice on like pig ears and shit, right? Isn't that a thing? Not so much anymore. Um, I've never done it. I, no? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't use practice skin for the first time until a year ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's like I, the I little silicone slabs. Interesting. Or you can buy like the like the molded arms. Yeah, you can tattoo those. Mm. You just had friends to doodle on. Oh yeah, myself and friends. <laughs> Do you have any advice? uh shit advice for getting into it uh be prepared to be broke for a while 
starving artist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, be broke. And uh, then if you're looking to get better at it, um, I don't know. My, for me personally, my, like uh, for my own advice, practice and just assume you suck anyways. But just because you suck doesn't mean you can't get better. Right. And be prepared for the day that a like next level artist is gonna tell you that your work is shit. <laughs> yeah, because that's gonna happen. Like, like, stop by your like, dreams. Like, I, I wake up every day and I'm like, man, that tattoo you did yesterday. Yeah, it was good yesterday, but today that's trash. <laughs> You're gonna do better today. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One up in yourself. Yeah. Uh, kind then, of going along with that, how do you guys decide what um, style to do? Because there's like what there's like the American traditional, there's like mm-hmm. the realism or whatever. Is that just something that you figure out what you like, what you're good at? You know, like I got, I'm honestly over trying to even like replicate a specific style at this point. Like, I don't know. Like, I, anytime somebody says I like American traditional, can you give me American traditional? Like, I'll do it and they'll like it, but I'm looking at it like that's not real American traditional. That was horrible. Okay. Or uh, like if somebody comes lot to me to get like a re- like a realism like a portrait or something, yeah, I, I can do a portrait. But then when I'm done done with it and looking at it, like, all right, cool. Like then that was a fucking portrait, but that could have been done a lot fucking better. That's not real enough. It's always going to be like your style, like your yeah, own personal like, style. No matter what, like yeah, everybody's got their own personal touch, and no matter what you do, it's hard to manipulate something that's already in you right like yeah. he he's already got that like natural like scratchy ask to him hmm. try to get him the tattoo like i do and it's just gonna be whack right like I, if i try to tattoo like him it's gonna be whack yeah that makes sense <laughs> yeah. i mean a lot of it is kind of the way like we all uh kind of have ways we figure out how to use the needles and how to like manipulate them under the skin and it's really hard to like tell another person how you're doing that and uh, it's really hard to show them because it's you know it's uh, essentially you're working with microscopic tools Mm -hmm. and when you're showing somebody your technique it just kind of looks like this yeah but (laughs) that's not the only thing you're doing and it's hard to like yeah like literally like when mm -hmm. when when you're shading like to the outsider that doesn't know what they're looking at like shading like looks like this just going moving forward backward and squiggling in circles when in reality what it is is like I'm lifting up, digging in, and pushing out, mm-hmm. and I'm doing that just over and over again. And but you don't see that. Yeah. You know. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Styles are definitely like something that I'm just like drifting away from. Like now somebody says I want this, and I kind of want it to look like that, and I'm like, okay, I don't know what that style is. I'm not gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna do your tattoo, and if you're happy and I'm happy, then we're happy. Right. You don't have to call it yeah. something. <laughs> absolutely it's me style yeah <laughs> <laughs> although i really do want to like uh who was i talking with about it um there was that uh one video that somebody shared on facebook a while ago like they just took like a big ass paintbrush and like some water and some stencil mm-hmm. application shit or I think I that. and just like start stroking on somebody's back like very like uh you know asian watercolor style painting mm-hmm. and then just like copy it with ink mm-hmm. And I was like, that's really cool. That's pretty tight. It looks like literal brush strokes. Or like uh, people are taking like body. real plants and shit and dipping it into the solution mm-hmm. and pressing like leaves or plants into there and then just replicating that. That's cool. I think that stuff's kind of cool. Like, like I, I like thumbprint. to do different random yeah, stuff. Yeah, people do thumbprints. Mm-hmm. Uh, really anything. Paw prints, baby footprints. I'd definitely like to find a way to make like tattooing itself just like a step further more meaningful to the person you know like and then then even like to give myself like a better way to look about look at it you know like i don't like going to google and looking for uh references and shit like that i would much rather just be out on a hike and see a dope ass flower take a picture Mm -hmm. of it Mm -hmm. like i I did a tattoo not too long ago that literally my, my reference material was this dollar store triceratops skull (laughs) <laughs> that was in somebody's bathroom <laughs> I, I was at their house and i went to go take a piss and i seen it sitting on the back of their toilet i'm like yo that's tight finished my piss washed my hand took a picture of it turned it into a tattoo design so they call you inspiration the most unlikely of places <laughs> yeah even on the shitter makes sense to me yeah i agree with that draw your own inspiration or oh yeah from absolutely it, you know? yeah some of my coolest 
pieces of artwork come from just like a random shape I saw and took a picture of or oh, yeah. something out in nature hmm. like uh <laughs> the, the needles on the back of that case yeah <laughs> that was just a random scribble and me and him were just like yo that's tight oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Anything can be art. No, it's like he was like legit just dicking around on the iPad and like he scribbled that and we were like, man, that's kind of oh, cool. Like I even had some hats cool. made with it and then we drew it on cases. It looks like a logo. With it. Uh, it looks like a tattoo cartridge. So you you came up with that? Like yep. you put that on there? That's sick. I was super just cool. fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking a boot. <laughs> just fucking a boot. Uh, just fucking a boot. <laughs> You guys want to give your shops a shout out? Where can you find these guys, you wonder? Shit, Ambitious Inc. House of Lex in Beloit, Wisconsin. Check us out. Yo. Yeah, or check us out. Yeah, check me out. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like an Come check me out. Any how like do, do, IG plugs? Or yeah, how do people I, uh, book? They, like, see uh, on social and shit? Yeah, if I, Facebook, Michael Anthony, uh, Instagram, oons19xx. That's uh, yeah, O O N T Z nineteen X X. Then I'm uh Instagram is at young underscore laz underscore arts. Young spelled with a just a U. Young money. Young money. Young money. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then if you want to check out the shop, uh you can go to houseoflex.com or just our Facebook page. Yeah, obviously go to the Facebook page. Check everybody out. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Check this guy out. Check, check that guy, guy out. out. Check that check guy We're gonna out. check that out. Check that guy out. Especially check that band out. Oh hell yeah. Silverstein. Like are you going are band. you going to the they're playing at the rave today? Is that Oh no way. way. Yeah. I was supposed what to like go. Me. I got money, like what's what? <laughs> I got money too. Like shit. I haven't seen Silverstein since my twenty fifth birthday. Do you guys just make plans for later? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Is that going to apps? Could probably just that's the one that tickets cost. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I didn't buy them. Our friends got them on they like, had, like a spare. One. And then my other friend, or she, she's got some shit where she can't go. Oh, yeah. It's kind of one of those. You think she's looking to sell them? Probably. We can hit her up. We'll holler at her. I just yeah. didn't know. I wondered, like, hmm, strange coincidence. Yeah, I didn't even know that was going on. This is, a, this is yeah. an old ass shirt. Doesn't look like it. Still looks pretty crispy. Still yeah. pretty crispy. Thanks for being on, boys. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. Shit. Of course. Until next time. Until next time. Good success, gents. Yeah. That was good. Oh, well, you know what you guys should do? You guys should do a doodle on my mirror. Hell yeah. If you don't mind doing a quick oh, doodle. Yeah.